Hey guys, so I uh, want to talk about knife sheath modifications today. Uh, so I got three knives here. This is a more classic. This is a condor knife from um, the Pathfinder School, and then this is the Bushcraft Black from Black from More Knives. As you can see, I've done a little something to each of them. Um, let's start with the classic. What I did was I have some um, just inner tube or ranger bands that I cut put one underneath, put some duct tape on it so it'll stay in place and so this doesn't scratch it up, and then put another one on top. Now what I have in here is a Bic lighter, and then um, one of those Smith's survival tools that has a compass, a fire steel, a flashlight, a whistle, and then the sharpening part. Um, I also added a little paracord knot here for one so I can clip this to my bag if, you want, if I want to, and for another is I can pull this down and it'll secure the knife. Okay, it's not going to come all the way out. So that's just for the more classic. This is the sheet that came with it, and then I just modified it to fit what I wanted. This is going to be a backup knife 99% of the time. So, um, you know, I just clip it to my bag, or clip it on the inside of the bag, put it in an inside pocket, something, just so I have it. I have some stuff attached to it in case this is all I end up with. Chances are I won't. Here's the, the condor knife. I added a little lanyard to it. Um, I also added a little slip knot here so um, to keep it secure. It's got a leather sheath. Here's the condor knife. And then um, I added kind of my own fire seal loop here, which is with a ranger band and a slip knot with some paracord for a fire seal. So I just pull this out. Okay, but to put it in, I just put it in, slide the cord around, and then pull the slip knot. And I did red just so in case I, I drop it, I will find it. Alright, this is my newest knife right here. Um, this is the Bushcraft Black, and it is freaking awesome. Um, the sheath is the best more sheath I've seen. You get two options you get the, the loop, and then you get the belt clip. I went for the loop. Um, added some paracord to it. Um, uh, it comes with the sharpener and the fire steel here. The fire steel steel is really secure in there. You really have to yank on it to get it out. It's a decent sized fire steel, and I added some orange paracord to it. Um, but this knife, I'm just super impressed with. It uh, came razor razor sharp. Um, it's a lot beefier than a lot of the other more knives. I'll show you the classic. Just how thick it is. Alright, you can see it's so it's probably at least double the thickness. Um, it's also got a hard 90 degree spine so you can strike that fire rod, ferro rod, no problem. This one, I use the file to give it more of a 90 degree edge. It's not perfect, but it will strike fire steel. It's not my go-to knife for a fire steel, but it'll work. This one, crisp, hard, 90 degree spine. It'll throw sparks off this thing. Super good. Let me scrape some material off here. You can see, still burning just awesome. Awesome little fire steel here. Made a little mess, but that's alright. Um, awesome fire steel, awesome 90 degree spine on there. The sheath is great. For the money, I mean, you're looking at, it's not full tang, but it's as close as it can get without getting there. Um, it's just super, super sharp. Um, got a nice grip on it. I'm, I'm in love with this knife. Um, definitely going to be doing a bunch of tests with it as soon as I get out when it stops being negative 20 here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to spring, getting outside. I'm um, getting kind of sick of the indoors to be honest, but it's got a little sharpening stone just to do some field refiling there, but nothing major. You're not going to, you know, take a take a really dull knife and get it razor sharp, but it'll put a little bit of an edge on it for you. But uh, just kind of wanted to share you guys some of these mods. I kind of looked at some videos and then did some of my own stuff. This one I obviously didn't do much to besides add some paracord, but it's already got everything I would have added to it. Um, so, yeah, just uh, if you guys have any questions on how I did specific stuff, um, just let me know. But um, I definitely recommend 
Well, all of these knives are great. I mean, you can look at the blade. I think the bushcraft black is... It's even thicker than this condor knife. Just by a little bit. You can see the points there. This one's really honed in. But, um, this one's full tang. This one is a rat tail tang or three quarter tang. Um, but if I have an axe or a saw, I'm not really going to be batoning too much wood anyway. So I'm really not worried about the full tang versus the rat tail tang at all. Um, as far as comfort, you know, they're both really comfortable. I guess I, this one kind of makes you grip it like that because of this little hump here. This one doesn't really have much of that. Um, you can see the difference in the, the belly of the blade here. This one's a little bit thinner than this one. But, uh, yeah, they're both, they're both excellent knives. Both are around the same price. Um, so it, I mean, they're both, they're both amazing blades. This one is, car I think they're both, this one's carbon steel. It says right on there, made in Sweden. Yeah, they're just, they're just some awesome blades here. I definitely recommend both of them. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, thanks for staying tuned for another video.